Oh. Hey guys, we're back out here. We got Johnny P. And uh, he's new to bass fishing, so we're gonna show him a couple things. The school is right in between us and that bank there. And I cast my lure out there and I just do a twitch twitch and I put my rod tip down to make sure the slack in the line so that lure will just sit there. If you have, if you keep your line tight, then that, it's gonna have a different action. So you, you wanna do them twitch twitch and then just leave your line slack. Just something kinda like that. There he is, guys. Oh, he's a good one too. Yep, yep, yep. I have to stand up for this guy. There he is. It's on flash. This looks like to be maybe a four pounder, three and a half. I'm gonna let him fight for just a minute before I try and pull him up. Oh, he's a little bigger. <laughs> Grab my pliers real quick here. That guy's is number six for the day. Right there. He looks to be about. 17 inches. I'd say my box is 14. 16, 17, yeah, 16 and a half, I'd say. All right, I'm gonna get a release of this, guys. Oh, come on back. There you go, buddy. All right. Try doing this when you do your pauses, Johnny. Watch my rod chip. Snap, snap, bring it right forward. Okay. I'll reel up the slack. Snap, snap, bring it right forward again. Reel up the slack, snap, snap. The trick is having a slack line while that lure is sitting there. When that line slacks, that suspended lure, the nose of it will just go down just like this, like the uh -huh. fish is dying. And then it just sits there with the nose down, and that's what triggers triggers the strike. Got another one, guys. I shut the camera off for five seconds, and this fish bit. <laughs> oh. Easy, buddy. There we go. Another beautiful bronze back, guys. That's number six or number seven today. Number seven. Like every one of them has been legal. Yep, one. this one's 15, and Johnny's got one. All right. Good shit, Johnny. Go ahead and bring him back towards me if you want. Oh, he's a pike. Oh. Don't, don't bring it up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nice. Good. You might want to tuck your finger up under that gill. gill there and get a nice good picture. Just stick your right up, open his gill and stick your finger right in there. You, you won't get the teeth from, uh, <laughs> from that end anyways. All right. Put this camera off, guys. Every time I shut it off, I get a fish. Another nice smaller. He's trying to jump. I'm trying to keep him down. This is number eight. If I land him. Number eight for the day. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right guys. We're gonna put measurement on him here. He's another. 16, 15 and a half. I'll take him. Another good fish. Michigan bronze backs. We'll get the release of them. There you go, buddy. All right. You want to try this lure? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. No, no, he's probably better than me. <laughs> probably me. <laughs> I'll take yours and 
<laughs> See if it is you. This is a little bit harder, this one. I, I'll show you what I do. I cast it out there. Close the bail. Give it a couple twitches and I sink that line. Oh. Like that. And then I'll keep my rod tip down and start my twitches. It just runs a little bit shallower than that one. So I try to get that line buried, you know. There he is! <laughs> A foul hook one? No. Oh, now he's gonna fight. <laughs> there you go, buddy. We're gonna call this one Spot. <laughs> Well, I get a release. We're all about fucking 14, 17, 18 inches. Oh, he's, oh, he's, he's hanging out. I know he's all right. He just needs a second. There he goes. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, guys. This is this is a lot of fun. It's not the war. It's me. <laughs> um, it's, you know, you just got to get used. It's a different type of fishing, you know. It's hard to, to, to get that twitch down, but yeah. once you get it, I mean, look, I cast it out there. With this one, I just bury the line, you know, sink it underwater, and then just a twitch, twitch, and bring that rod tip right straight back to where you're at. Twitch, twitch to the side, bring your rod tip, point it right back at your lure again. Yep, even like that snap on the water like that, you know you're doing it right. Yeah, don't be afraid to smack that pole around. You ain't gonna hurt nothing. That one. All right. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Put that rod tip down. Go ahead and pull her back up again. Oh, that's a nice one. Don't reel up too much. Don't, don't, don't reel up too much. You gotta oh, give yeah. him. You gotta give him some room to. to uh... Oh, yeah, that happens yeah. right there. <laughs> As a rule, I never reel up my line more than about four foot. Okay. Ever. Even casting, I don't reel it up more than four foot. Okay, my hand. <laughs> four inches past the box means 18 inches. Okay, let's get some photos of this guy. That's a nice one. get some colors in there. Yeah, the sun's at her back, so I'll get a couple different angles. Once you hold him straight up and down, yeah. And there you go. Nice picture. We get the release on this guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect day. Johnny's personal best. <laughs> Thank you.